Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's a glorious day here in the UK. We've just had a couple of packages arrive this morning. I've ordered a few items, so I'm not quite sure what's in these. So without further delay, let's do an unboxing video. Oh yeah. You need three items to do a successful unboxing video. Number one, a box. Number two, an unboxer. And number three, a tool to undo the box with. So there you go guys, that's what's in the two boxes. The first box contained the box on the right, the Polaroid remote control 360 degree panorama pan head uh, for attaching a GoPro to and uh, remotely controlling um, the panning motion of the camera. And the second box, the one on the left, contains a Samsung portable external hard drive 2 terabyte USB free. So first let's do the Polaroid remote control 360 degree panorama pan head with attachments for GoPro action cameras, digital cameras and small SLRs. What do we get in the box then guys? There you go. There's the unit itself. There's the remote control. We have a charge and lead behind there, an attachment and it looked like we might get a carry case in there as well. So what does this item actually do? Well you attach the GoPro to the top here and with the remote control you can pan the head of this left and right to make some smooth action shots so if you're filming a car so it's gonna help me um, take some much better smoother shots so it has a power button here and a screw thread on the top here so that you can put the GoPro on um, and it comes with an adapter for the GoPro so you just screw that on the top there first and then you attach the GoPro to that. Underneath there's some feet so you just pull these feet out and there you go. You can rest it anywhere you like. So you can put it on you can just put it on the tabletop, put it on a box somewhere. There you go, you can see it better now. And uh, it also has a little screw thread underneath. So you can attach that screw thread to the top of a tripod, like the tripod just there. So uh, that's handy. You can put it on a selfie stick, hold the selfie stick, and you can then turn, um, press the buttons and turn the camera around. So it's pretty good. Don't know the full features yet because I haven't um, obviously used it, I've just unboxed it, but I'll find out more as we go on. That's where you charge it, just there. And there's the charging cable. So we've got the Samsung Portable External Hard Drive 2TB USB 3. Let's see what's inside. So as you can see, it's quite small. It's 2TB, uh, so it's going to hold a lot of data for me. You can see the port there to plug it in, and there's the cable to plug it into the computer. So uh, yeah, basically, that's how big it is, and uh, that's going to help me out quite a bit. So I'm glad that's arrived today, because I don't think I can even upload this video um, without this. So I've absolutely run out of space at the moment so that will keep me going for a few more weeks so let's go outside and let's go and try out the motorized mount right we're going to try this outside right now i've got the gopro 3 what you're watching me from 
attached to the Polaroid mount and we're going to try it outside. Unfortunately, I've just had to charge it up. It didn't have any charge in it at all. I thought it would have a little bit, but it hasn't got any. So we're just going to go and try it right now. We're going to do a low shot and a high shot. So we put the mount on the floor first um, and then we're going to try start panning. So it should start panning now. And then back the other way. As you can see it's a bit fast so we need to try and slow it down. I can actually decrease the speed. So we use the remote control to decrease the speed right there. And you can see it's a lot better now. Right, let's try the tripod now. So we're attached to the tripod now and it's given us a slow panning motion. So there you go, you can see how the motorised panning head works. It gives me some really smooth shots of the car. I can get some nice low shots of the wheels, get some higher shots of like the wing mirror and the lines of the car. So in future I should have some really good steady shots, some close up shots as well. Uh, would be good for taking some panoramas as well. Uh, use the remote control or you can use Bluetooth it says. Unfortunately it takes eight hours to charge up. It is portable, uh, it has got its own rechargeable battery, but it takes eight hours. You're still viewing me from it now. So um, it's actually attached to the tripod I'm holding with the GoPro on the top. So I've uh, got something quite special to show you uh, outside in the garden. So let's go and have a look now. GPS 14 inch mirror with UHTC coatings so I've had some pretty good shots on this of the moon and the planets so uh, it's not too bad it's um, takes a little of getting used to but you can put your DSLR camera on it put your Canon on it you can put your webcam on it GoPro just put them down the eyepiece there uh, attach them to it and uh, take a a little video and then enter it into a bit of software called Registax and then just process the footage and uh, it gives you a really good picture you get one good picture out of it so that's the observatory I built for it um, I had a much bigger observatory at the last house a lot bigger I'll um, put a picture of that on there but that's the observatory we've got at the moment hope you enjoyed looking at the telescope fantastic piece of kit that I think you'll agree so it's good for doing some astrophotography with I've taken some fantastic shots of the moon um, looking down in towards the craters looking at the rills the valleys on the moon you can sit there for hours looking at it I've watched Jupiter through it before for about four hours solid and watched one of the little moons coming up over the back of Jupiter so you can get some good shots then put them into some software stack the photos all in there, all the frames from the video and make one fantastic picture out of it. And you can buy all kinds of cameras to go onto them telescopes. So uh, yeah, I'm just about to go out in the car now, so let's go guys. So guys, it's been a good day so far today. It's uh, been pretty hot as well. So we're just gonna go out for a little drive. Just uh, can't get enough of driving this Porsche. So come on guys, let's go. So you're probably wondering why I got into Porsches in the first place. Well, in actual fact, it was sheer accident that I actually got into them. Uh, I went to go and buy an American truck from a garage where I purchased this Porsche. So this garage um, was about two hours drive away from here, it's in Peterborough and um, I went to go and have a look at, at the truck, um, it was a Dodge Ram which I always really wanted, 
The only problem is our driveway is really short and this Dodge Ram was a lot longer than I realised. So this Ram is about 5.7 metres long, something like that, and at just nearly 6 metres. It just will not go into our driveway, so there was no way I could uh, purchase it. I'd already put a deposit down on the Dodge Ram so that they wouldn't sell it. So what I decided to do was, being as I couldn't have the Dodge Ram, I didn't want to lose my deposit. So what I did was I already spotted a Porsche on their website before I went. And unfortunately, that was, that was a red one. Unfortunately, that was sold. So what I did was I had a look around and I saw another one there, uh, this black one, and I decided um, to have a look at that and I purchased it there and then. So uh, yeah, pretty pleased and uh, never looked back since. It's been a good purchase. So I've never really been into Porsches, never ever. It's, I've liked them and I've always thought that, you know, they're a bit small, um, not quite what I like. But after purchasing this one, I would always buy another one. I know I've sold this one now. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've, I've already sold this Porsche. And if you've been watching the videos, you already know that I've purchased a Mustang now, 5 litre V8, to replace this Porsche with, uh, which I pick up in a few months' time. So, would I buy another one of these Porsches? Yes, I would. I'd buy another Cayman. I'd probably buy a bigger engine, though, next time. This is 2.7. I'd probably buy the 3.4. And I might even purchase a 911 in the future, or even a convertible. So, I've still never had a convertible car yet. So yes, so I would buy another Porsche. Yeah, I've not looked back. It's the sound of the Porsche is fantastic as well. So I think Porsche have really cracked it with these cars. The Cayman is just fantastic. It's a little bit in between the Boxster and the 911. It's not as fast as the 911. Obviously, that's their flagship car, but the sound is just fantastic. Um, the microphone on the GoPro just doesn't seem to pick up what I can hear. The sound I can hear in here is just when you change down gear and the revs go up. Just listen to that. How can you get tired of that? You just can't. It's just fantastic. This is why we've gone out for a drive right now. So this is only intended to be a quick drive today because we've got a lot to do, but it is a really nice sunny hot day and I just can't resist taking this car out all the while. As I say, I've already sold it, so uh, I need to get as much use out of it as I possibly can. And uh, why not when it's like this, when it's lovely and sunny like this. So shortly, I've got a 10 likes video coming up for this car. Um, I'm also going to do the 10 dislikes. I've mentioned this before, but it is coming up shortly. I've just got some events that I'm going to in the next week. Several events, uh, which are just absolutely awesome. You guys must not miss them. So um, I need to go to those, get them uploaded, get them edited, uploaded online for you guys to watch. And I'll do you all uh, 10 likes and dislikes. It seems to be really popular at the moment. And we'll do the same for the Mustang as well. When we get the Mustang, we'll do a full review of it. We'll go out for some drives in it. We'll do some mods to it. I've got some mods planned up for it. And then we'll um, tell you 10 dislikes and 10 likes. I can't see how I'm going to dislike it. But uh, I can't see how I'm going to dislike the Mustang. But I'm sure there'll be some niggly little things that probably don't like. Right, we're going to head back now. It's been another sunny, glorious day here in the UK, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. It's currently 31 degrees here in the conservatory, and I've uh, got some training to do in a minute, so it's going to be pretty hot. So I hope you like looking at the telescope anyway, and enjoyed coming out with us in the car again today. But stay positive, think positive, and good things will happen. So uh, thank you for watching again today, guys, and uh, I'll see you all soon. But for now, goodbye.